Alrighty, you guys, what's going on? So in today's video, um, I actually just got done like two seconds ago making the video on the ice out lures. Um, yeah, excuse me, didn't mean to do that again. But if you're wondering why I'm burping so much, for some odd reason when I drink this stuff here, I don't know if you guys can see it, as it is putting quite a bit of glare on it, I bet. It's a lemonade. It's like, uh, what is it called? Summer Nade Sparkling Lemonade. This stuff makes me burp so bad. I don't know why, but it's really good. I'm like addicted to it. It's really good. All right. So today we're going to be unboxing two baits that I just got in the mail. Now I said in my last video that I was supposed to get some molds today. And I actually wasn't even supposed to get these today. I was supposed to get these uh, like in two days from now. But these ended up coming in and the molds didn't. The molds for some reason were supposed to be here Monday. Then it was changed to Tuesday. And now we just don't really know. Um, so yeah, I don't know when they're going to be here. Um, but I'm excited to get them because I really want to use them. But I don't believe I'm going to buy, be buying stuff from here or from that place again. Because the first two times I bought from them were fine. Nothing ever happened. But then this time they've been changing it and stuff. I don't know. So yeah. Anyway. Today we're going to be unboxing these two baits. Um, these are two baits that I bought like two, no, four days ago. I think it was Saturday when I bought these. And if you haven't tell or couldn't tell, there's another sticker up here. Because I got them from Tackle Supply Depot, uh, the eBay store. Um, if you have never um, been on eBay and never done anything, um, bought new baits from there, make sure you check them out because they have cheap baits and they have a lot of baits. So the first bait is one that I'm actually super duper excited to use. I've never used this color of S-Waver before, but the other bait I have in this color, the Whopper Plopper, caught me a 5-pounder on the first cast. So I got a bone S-Waver. Now, it's a really good looking bait, in my opinion. Um, it has like scales on it, which is really cool. And, um, you know, it, it's just like the other S waivers. It has the soft plastic tail, which I think is pretty cool because, I mean, it's not like, um, you know, fluke uh, trick worm soft plastic, but it is, you know, it does move. It's not uh, super soft, but it is not um, hard plastic like the body. It does have some sharp hooks. As you guys can see there, <coughs> I hooked myself earlier taking it out of the package. Um, so yeah, it does have some sharp hooks on it. And it's a really, <coughs> really good looking bait. Um, I'm super looking forward to trying it out and um, hopefully catching some big ones on it. Now, this is in the 120 size and I do own a 168 size. But, put it back in the packaging so it don't hook myself or anyone else um, but anyway I do have one the uh, one of the 168 now the reason why I haven't bought a 168 again is a couple different reasons a um, it's like 26 bucks um, or no it's like 22 dollars now B um, I honestly am afraid that I'm going to spend that much money and never catch a fish unless I go on a trip somewhere. Um, and C, I just got a feeling that I want to fish more of the 120 over the 168 because the 120 is something you can throw on. Literally, you can throw it on a spinning rod. I used to throw it on that spinning rod that I showed you guys with the 10-pound test trialing. Um, it's a really good bait. The 120, you can throw it on a spinning rod. You don't have to have a bait caster. Um, I actually talked to, um, I actually made a comment on one of the Tactical Bassin videos and asked them if the 120 uh, could be thrown on spinning gear if um, if needed. And they said, yeah. So that's the why I ended up buying one. The 168 is just a bit too big. You have to have a bait caster, kind of. I use an, a spinning rod for it, but it's, it's really inconvenient. It doesn't... Uh, when you hold the rod with the bait out there, it is a bit heavy because um, it is like a one and three quarter ounce bait or something like that. It's a pretty big bait. It's just a bit too big for her, the spinning rods and stuff. And I haven't really gotten a swim bait rod per se yet. I have a cranking rod and I have a flipping 
um, Texas rig and jig rod. Um, I'm actually thinking about switching some stuff out. I'm actually thinking about getting a new rod, possibly. I don't know. Um, I want to save out for the trip, but I found this rod. It's a big, heavy rod for like one and a half and two ounce baits um, for 50 bucks. And I thought about putting the silver and red rod or reel on it. But I just don't think I will. I think I'm going to start saving for the trip. Because if I start saving now, I'll have like 450 bucks by the time the trip will be here. So I think I'm I think I'm just going to save. But anyway, sorry about that little rant. But anyway, get back to the second bait and the final bait, sadly. I wish I had a lot more to unbox, but it is a good bait. I love this bait. Um, now this here is the smaller version. The bigger version has caught me quite a few fish. Actually, one of the fish... The bigger of the two fish in my pond was caught on the bigger version of this bait, but I actually bought the smaller version. And I believe it or not, I didn't even know that this was the smaller version until after I bought it. So I'm kind of stuck with it anyway, but I do know that it will catch fish. And that is the Striking Baby Rodent. And this here is, I think it's a three inch, right? Uh, yep, three inch bait with an, it's an eight pack. And um, it is in Okeechobee Crawl color. Now this color is a pretty neutral color. It is a color that has some flash, but it also has the green pumpkin, which is a very clear water, natural looking color. The green pumpkin shines over the blue because the green pumpkin is on top and the blue is on the bottom. As most of your baits, such as like Bama Crawl color, um, colors like Summer Crawl, stuff like that. Will have the um, the brighter color on the bottom so when the bait is standing up like this it will shine on the bottom to make it look like there's like legs moving and stuff underneath of it when in reality it's just little shimmery flakes of glitter but yeah this here is a really good bait as you can tell hopefully this will focus in on the bait very well but you can tell this here is green pumpkin and then this here is the blue. I hope the camera is focusing on it. I don't know because it is a phone and it's facing the other way. But I hope it was focusing in on it right um, because it is a pretty cool color. I actually have a couple different baits from both from Strike King and other companies in that color. And I've caught fish on all of them. So I hope you guys like this little short unboxing video. Um, I will be unboxing another bait sometime in the near future. Um, it's supposed to be estimated delivery time is next Monday, but it should get here before then. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that video and the mold video soon. Um, and the next bait is actually a pretty big bait. It is a one and a half ounce swim bait, and it's not a shad swim bait. I know I have a lot of shad swim baits. This one here is not a shad swim bait. It is actually a big bluegill swim bait, so I'm really excited for it. Hope you guys like the video, and uh, if you do, smash the like button. Um, I really appreciate all the comments uh, saying that my hair looks cool and stuff um, in my like second to last video or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for the, all the comments about my hair and uh, see you around. Bye.